Hi everyone, this is Dr. Manu Krishnan K. In part 2, we have discussed about the shaft of the humerus. And in the part 3, we will be discussing about the lower end of humerus, that is the lower expanded part. And we will discuss about each and every external features that you can find there. So when you consider the anterior aspect of the lower end, you can clearly see some smooth structures as well as some rough impressions. So here on this particular perspective, you can clearly see a rounded prominence here that represents the capitulum of humerus. And on the other side, you can clearly see a pulley shaped impression that is nothing but the second articular surface that is the trochlea. So we have two articular surfaces which I am just focusing right now. You can see the lateral one that is the capitulum and you can see the medial one that is the trochlea. And on either sides of this articular surfaces you will get to find two prominences. This one over here a small prominence which you can see on the lateral aspect that is the lateral epicondyle and on the medial side you have a bigger prominence that you can see here that is nothing but the medial epicondyle. So these are non-articular surfaces. Apart from this articular surfaces and non-articular surfaces we can see two fossa which are present on top of the articular surfaces. So I am just touching the first one above the capitulum. That one is nothing but the radial fossa. And here on the other side above the trochlea, you can see a small fossa or depression that is nothing but the coronoid fossa. That is the anterior aspect. If I turn it towards the other side, on the opposite side of it, you can clearly see on the posterior surface there is a fossa here, a bigger fossa, which is called as the olecranon fossa, which allows the olecranon process of the ulna to fit in while you are extending the elbow joint. So these are the external features that you can observe on the lower end of humerus. Thank you.